Man of war, man of war, living on the road. Ding, 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 ding. Man, you gotta, you gotta open it up cheesy. Not a cheesy video for a cheesy band, but oh god, I love the fucking cheese. It's so glorious and stinky. That's the way cheese should be. Now, welcome to A Quest for Metal. Today we are ranking Man of War albums from my least favourite to my favourite. And oh boy, this was a fun ride. This was a fucking fun ride revisiting all these albums because oh, they have so many bangers. So many goddamn bangers. Today we're going to go through all of them. But before I do, you know how it goes. You know how these rankings go. Let me know down below what's your favourite Man of War album, what's your favourite song, what's your least favourite, and let's get fucking started. So coming in last is Louder Than Hell. Louder Than Hell! It's a fine album. It's a fine album, but it's very unmemorable. The songs on this album are very unmemorable. People like to shit on Gods of War for being overly symphonic, but I prefer that to just boring, and this album kind of treads a line of boring. There's nothing wrong with it. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just after, like, all the other albums they did, Warriors of the World, Kings of Metal, fucking Sign of the Hammer, I mean, come on. All those are amazing. And then this one comes out, and it's just kind of standard affair, standard heavy metal, back to battle hymns kind of shit. But battle hymns is way better. So, for me, Louder Than Hell is the weakest at the moment. Um, it's just, it's just, un it's unmemorable. Yeah, it's unmemorable. So Louder Than Hell is coming here. So next up, just mentioned it, Gods of War, the one that everyone loves to shit on, and I don't, I don't see the fucking hate. I mean, maybe if you don't like symphonic music, sure, but I do. So I love all these kind of interludes, and the epic, well, the epic nature of all the songs. There's some heavy songs on here, there's some catchy songs, some great songs. So from here on out, these are all fun albums. This does get a lot of hate, but I can kind of understand it, because there shouldn't be this many fucking instrumentals on a Man of War album. We want some chest pumping, we have some fist bumping, that's probably the wrong order, but you, you know what I mean, we want some choruses, and you do get some, but overall it's a bit too long, it's a bit too long winded, but I still like it, I still like this album, so I'll still give it some credit, but it is going to come the lower half of the list. Next up is The Lord of Steel, one of the later ones by Man of War, and it, I think it's really good, I don't think it's quite as good as a lot of the others, obviously, which is why it's fucking here, but it does have some bangers on, and it's not quite as rammed and symphonic as um, on Gods of War. So that's a positive for it. I mean, it has Mana Warriors on. Any album with Mana Warriors is on, Warriors is, is a great album in my books. So definitely coming here. Some other good songs on here as well. Born in the Grave, Hail, Kill and Die. Not quite as good as another one we'll get to, which sounds similar, but still a great song. Fantastic album, and yeah, it's coming here. The next one will get me some shit by some people. Into Glory Ride. Yep, Into Glory Ride is the next one. Um, people hype this up, some people have this number one, and I'm kind of like, it's good, but there's others I prefer. And that's all I can say, but it does have some bangers on, but also some weird songs that I'm not a big fan of. Warlord, I've never been a big fan of. I don't like the weird talking parts. It's a fun song, it's a fine song, but it, I, I'm not a big fan of Warlord. But Gates of Valhalla, Gates of Valhalla is awesome. Fantastic song, that one. And the last two songs, you know, pretty fucking epic. A lot of the ones in the middle, I'm not... It's just kind of like the first two albums... Yeah, the first two albums are just straight up heavy metal. But I do think Battle Hymns had stronger songs. If I'm being honest, because this is an honest list. I do think Battle Hymns has stronger songs, and we'll get to them. We'll get to them right now. Battle Hymns, which was one of my favourites by Man of War, has dropped down a bit. I like the more epic, chanty, cheesy choruses. The more heavy metal stuff, bit lower down. But this, oh my god. The song Battle Hymns, fucking amazing. Dark Avenger, Dark Avenger is fucking fantastic. And Metal Days, oh my god, Metal Days. Metal Days, one of the best heavy metal anthems. The song Man of War, come on. Come the fuck on. This album's fantastic. I love it. It's shame, it shames me putting it this low, but I still love it. Um, amazing art. It's one of the best, and it's only here. So it's only gonna get stronger. Sign of the Hammer is next, another fantastic kind of Norse mythology themed kind of album. And the song 4 on this one, oh, what a bloody beaut. And Guyana, Guyana Cult of the Damned, holy shit, Guyana's fucking amazing. And of course, Sign of the Hammer, yeah, this album is fantastic. If you have this higher on your list, good job. For me, it's here because the others are just too fucking good. Too fucking good. Next up. One of the best songs, 
title songs they've ever done. We are warriors, warriors of the world. Warriors of the world. Epic album, great album, overlooked, I think, by people. I love this album. The song Nessendorma, holy shit. Call to Arms, Warriors of the World. And then the last couple of songs, very fucking epic. Amazing second half, like holy shit. This album is everything you want. It's powerful, it's strong. You want to just rip your fucking shirt off and like, I don't know, dance in the rain, oiled up. Hmm. It's a good fucking album, but it's not the best. So it's going here because the others, oh, we'll get to them. We'll fucking get to them. Next up, amazing artwork with this one, The Triumph of My Steel. Holy shit. This starts off with like a, what, like a fucking 30 minute song or something? Like the Battles of Troy and shit. Um, truth be told, this is my least favourite song on the album. It's a bit too long, but, but, every other song is a 10 out of 10. Every other song is fucking amazing. Metal Warriors, Wimps and Posers, leave the hall. Come on. How good is that? The power of thy sword and demon's whip. Come on. Fucking amazing album. Want to put it higher, but I like the other ones. I like the other ones. This one's in my the upper echelon, you know? I'd play this right now and I'd have a blast playing it. But the first half an hour is a bit of a drag to get through. I enjoy it, but I feel like they could have cut the middle part out with the drum solo and shit. Because it's a bit meandering. I like the straight to it, like Metal Warriors, yeah! rather than 30 minutes of wankery. <laughs> and I like Opeth and Dreamfit. But, yeah, I don't know, it just feels kind of boring in the middle. But the first part of the song, last part of the song, awesome. Middle part's a bit just random. It feels a bit random. But yeah, everything else, love all the other songs on it. Holy shit. And, no, I missed out one song. What is it called? Spirit Horse of the Cherokee. Fucking amazing song, that one, with a weird, like, speaking part in the middle, and then, no, beginning, sorry, and then it hits with that fucking galloping riff, yeah. Beautiful song, amazing album. So number three, hail, hail to England, hail to England. Holy shit. Holy shit, I almost put this one. This is how good it is, this is a lot of people's number one. I think it's one of the best they've done. It's very more power metal laden than the first two albums which I, I love the more power metal stuff anyway. The song Hail to England, <sighs> masterpiece. Kill with power, die, die. Come on, blood of my enemies, army of immortals, bridge of death. The only reason this isn't higher is because two of her albums are better. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's a ranking. What, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? But there is a song on that I don't really like on this one. Black Arrows, I'm not a big fan of. It's kind of shit, in my opinion. It's just kind of squeaky. Guitar shit, not a big fan of the interludes to be honest. There are a lot of Man of War albums and this one's probably the worst. Sorry for fans of it, but I don't like it. I mean, well, one of the ones on one of my higher ones is, is a lot better. But yeah, for now, this is here. Hail to England, masterpiece of an album. Next up is the Kings of Metal coming to town. Kings of fucking metal. Bet you thought this was going to be number one. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. But it is a 10 out of 10. Holy shit. Holy shit. Man of war, man of war, living on the road. Ding. I always love that song. It's probably my favorite song. We are the kings of metal. Other bands play. Man of war kills. Come on. You gotta sing it. Not just that. Not just that. Hail, hail, hail and kill. Come on. Wheels of fire. Blood of the kings. The only reason this isn't number one is because of two fucking songs. That's it. Kingdom Come, which is a good song, but it's not, it doesn't blow my socks off. And then the four minute talking song. Uh, and there's an, there's an instrumental, the flight, the Bumblebee one, but I like that song. That's actually a good one. That's actually a good instrumental. Um, but yeah, the talking one, it's cool. It sets up this last song, but I don't really want to hear it. <laughs> it's cool though, so I can't really complain, but my number one album, every single song is perfect. So let's get to that. Fighting, fighting, fighting the world. Fighting the world is my number one, my favorite Man of War album of all fucking time. It's shorter than Kings of Metal, but there's no dull moment. There's no dull moment. Every song is a masterpiece in my opinion. Blow your speakers with rock and roll. Blow your speakers with rock and roll. Come on, that and then fighting the world, one after each other, 
is perfection. Carry On, which is probably the weakest one in the album, but it's catchy as fuck, and I almost hated it. It's on the line of being so cheesy as I almost hate it, but I really like it. It's like, carry on, carry on, do, 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 carry on, do, 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 do. It's fun. It sounds like gospel music, but I like it. Then you got Violence and Bloodshed. Violence and Bloodshed. Violence and Bloodshed. Defender with Orson Welles. Holy shit, is that fantastic. That's a hair on your chest shit, that is. Holy War, and then the best song they've ever fucking done. Born of Black Wind, Fire and Steel. Black Wind, Fire and Steel. The best outro song they've ever done. Best song they've ever done. Fuck it. I love it. This album is perfect. From start to finish, it's perfect. I love it. Fighting the World is my favourite Man of War album of all fucking time. Hopefully this video put some hair on your chest, put some hair on your balls. Let me know down below what's your favourite Man of War album. Hopefully you had fun with this video, and we'll see you again on another quest for metal.